Hey YouTube, what's going on? Just a, a quick little commentary on things I see on the forums uh, for the uh, self-reliance community, if you will, the preparedness movement, you know, between the preppers and the bushcrafters, the survivalists and the homesteaders and the pioneers, uh, all they're seeking independence. But yet a lot of these people, <laughs> I mean a lot, have these very rigid mentalities of certain things are the standard. And if you don't have them, uh, you're never going to be you know, self-sufficient. It's a little shocking. It's a little shocking, especially from people that are supposed to be, I thought, a lot more flexible than the general population. But what you see really is that people will be people uh, in and outside of the genre uh, or these groups. So uh, what I see is just some of the most petty things it's things like people saying, man, my uh, stainless steel canteen is better uh, than your titanium canteen or uh, vice versa. Or, you know, tarps are, you know, are, are you know, much more versatile than tents, which they kind of are. Um, and that, you know, the more experienced you are, you're not going to be carrying around a tent. Uh, but if, even if you do carry a tent around, who cares? Um, you know, or like the type of knife, you know, is supposedly uh, going to define your character you know, or other tools, you know, the type of clothing, uh, all these things, people are so critical, you know, you would think that there could be like a handful of things that would be at least accepted. Uh, and in some groups they are, but there's also groups that, um, really like crank down and they're like, Hey, if you don't have this type of material, uh, for your container, uh, you know, you're going to die. <laughs> you're going to, you're going to suffer the wrath of mother nature. And uh, it's never been the case for me. You know, for a while I uh, used aluminum containers and then I kind of saw that there could be some potential health problems uh, long term if you did that, use it on a long, long term basis. So I just as a preventative, I stopped using aluminum products. Um, there's a lot of people who kind of cite that it can build up in your body and the toxicology. Of course, you would have to use aluminum products a lot to do that. But for just prevention, once again, I went ahead and moved to stainless steel. Uh, then I saved up a lot and then I got some titanium containers. And now I'm like, ooh, I'm rolling with the big dogs. Uh, only to find out there are some people that are like, titanium uh, is for hippies. I'm like, what? What happened there? I thought titanium was like, you know, I've reached the pinnacle. Uh, I am the master of the woods kind of level. Uh, but apparently not. I think I went too far. So I think I have to reel it in because I don't want to be the hippie of the woods. So I got to go back to my stainless steel because I got to be cool. And I don't want to upset all of uh, the know-it-alls uh, that are in the preparedness groups. So there's a lot of people you, you run into in your life. You're like, wow, how did you ever adopt that mentality? That seems so rigid. And uh, coming from someone that's supposed to be flexible and open-minded, uh, I thought, you know, people that are in the preparedness groups and communities are supposed to be a lot more adaptable. Uh, I thought they would appreciate that I even, even have a container, much less if it's titanium. So anyways, uh, I'm going to go ahead and go for a walk and forget about all the nonsense in the world. Uh, the birds are out, as you can hear, uh, and the sun's out. Uh, all the rain stopped and the uh, very high winds have stopped as well. So I'm going to get out of this shelter and get in the woods. I hope you're in the woods as well, enjoying uh, Mother Nature. Uh, you guys take care.